Hi, it's Dave Ranji Das, the electrician, and don't work with circuits that are energized. Please identify and shut off all circuits before beginning. This is a project that covers flush lighting, lighting that's found in the kitchen, hallways, great rooms, and living rooms of many fine homes. It does a wonderful job of adding light to dark areas. We're selecting a 6-inch flush can, and this is a remodeled type of a fixture that is made to be installed into existing ceilings and existing homes. It is a um, model that accommodates a airtight cone trim as one of the options as shown here. This cone trim is typically airtight and meets all energy code requirements. Please prepare the area that you will be working with because you might make a little bit of a mess. And so determine the area that you want to install the cans and make sure that the area is clear by using a stud sensor or other type of structure sensing device to make sure that the area is clear. So you mark your location on the ceiling. You could put a, a finder wire up through there to locate the area up in the attic. Being careful up in the attic to look for that wire and see, make sure that there are no obstructions in the immediate area, that there be nothing in the area to prevent the can from being installed. Once you determine that area is clear, put your template in place, draw your outline, and you're ready to cut your opening. Cutting the opening carefully, containing the, the sheetrock dust into a box and any insulation that might fall down from the ceiling will be a great idea. Once that's contained and out of the way, you're ready to start installing your wiring. The wiring should be secured into the attic area, stapling about every three feet. Put in your loops from fixture to fixture location, and now you're ready to go ahead and prepare your light fixture. Bring your light fixture up and get the um, opening ready for the wire penetration there's a uh, way to open up the little access point right there. Install your wire through the junction box of the light fixture. Stripping out your wire and then inserting it into the wire connectors that come with this particular type of fixture or using wire connectors that's approved for the wires that you're using. Put those wires in nice and snug and then fold them down inside the little uh, junction box there for the fixture. Safely putting on the lid the cover plate for that and then now you're ready to go ahead and install your your flush light up into the opening there you take the junction box first bring it into place put the mounting clips down and this is what it looks like up in the attic with the insulation moved away you can see that the clips are firmly in place and the fi fixture is pulled snug up against the ceiling now you're ready to install your approved uh, funnel cone trim it's a uh, trim that is approved for energy compliance in most states. Now you have to remove the mounting plate that comes in the fixture that has the socket attached to it. So you just undo the wing nut, pull down that fixture uh, socket assembly, take the clips and undo the, the plate assembly there to release that. Gets the socket free. Now you're ready to go ahead and install the cone trim. Cone trim will allow the socket to be snapped into place by just squeezing the black tabs together, those little springy tabs together, placing those in the top of the funnel cone. Now you're ready to go ahead and put your cone in place. You've got the red plastic socket protector for when people are painting. Keeps the socket from getting paint in it. You squeeze your springs together for placing in the guide inside, inside of the flush can fixture. So you can push that guy up into place. Now your cone's up in place and you're ready to pull out your red protector out of the socket and install your light bulb. The light bulb is a reflector light bulb in this case. Some of these lights do come with energy efficient flush uh, fluorescent lamps. And now you've got your fixtures in place and your, you've updated your area, looks beautiful. Come by our website, pick up some free resources while you're there, and why ask a novice when you can ask the electrician? Thanks a lot. Look forward to